Hey, this is Mike. I'm going to do a little quick uh, video about how I hook up one of these little uh, wireless relay modules that you can find on eBay uh, for, um, you know, they're like 10 bucks roughly. And, um, but they work great for uh, triggering these little spirit props. And so I'm going to show you an example of how I set one up on my uh, little jumping spider here. So anyway, um, this particular relay module runs off of 12 volts, so you can't borrow uh, some power from your your prop because those run off of 6 volts. So all I do is hook it up to a uh, got it hooked up to just a you know a regular wall adapter. You know it's uh, uh, let's see, yeah, 12 volt center positive connector. So you just got to be wary of your polarity. You know you can meter it out, but um, I like to use these little power adapters, these little pigtails. Um, but anyway, you can see the uh, the red wire coming off these pigtails when you're using a center positive. You know that stays red positive, so so that's not hooked up to the power one on the right, and then the negative on the left here. And let's see, there's one other item of consideration for these things, and that is the mode that they run in. This particular one, when I bought it, it was in a latching mode, and what that means is when you press the uh, the button, it would turn the relay on, and then you'd have to press the same button again to turn the relay off. Well, that's not really what we want. We want more of a, a manual jog mode, it's called. So I had to do a little um, soldering of a pad on the back side of this board, so I'll... Uh, I'll stop and I'll show you the uh, video of how I did it. Okay, that. I just got done uh, changing the mode on the circuit board here. Um, what I ended up having to do, let's see if I can point at this without jiggling all over the place, was by default there was a little solder blob that was connecting the uh, two little pads here by the T. What I did was I used some of this um, desoldering braid and uh, you can just lay it on there, heat it up with the soldering iron, and it'll take it off. Or, you know, you could just, um, you know, just use a piece of wire or whatever you have laying around. But, um, so anyway, I, I desoldered that one by the T. That's how it came by default. And then I put a solder blob um, on the pads that are by the M. And what that ends up doing is it puts it into manual mode so the relays don't latch. So now if I uh, click it like this you can see you hold down the button it stays on and then it goes off when you let go. So it's a momentary which is the mode we want for switching a, uh, a Halloween prop properly. So now what I've got over here um, I've got the channel 1 hooked up and for the uh, spirit prop I've got it hooked up to a uh, an eighth inch or 3.5 millimeter mono male connector that's going to go in the foot pad switch and I've got this thing hooked up to the um, the common in the middle and then the normally closed contact for the relay alright I've got uh, everything powered up over here I've got the uh, our plug, our little uh, 1 8 inch plug plugged into the foot pad jack here. Um, I've got the power switch in the uh, foot pad position over there. So it's it's just sitting here uh, waiting to be triggered now. And I've got the, uh, I don't have the spring hooked up so it's not going to go flying off of my uh, stool here. But um, the relay that I've got it hooked up to on here happens to be on the B button. So I'll just show you what it's like when it's triggered. So anyway, yeah, it's now it's just sitting here waiting for another one, you know. But um, it uh, works like a champ like that right now. I've got it. Uh, so it's again, it's hooked up to the common and then to the normally closed. Um, it doesn't matter either wire could be hooked up to uh, either one of the two. setup but I think that would be a handy way 
to utilize these last four channels and have a minimum amount of wire running all over the place but um, this is what I like to use it's a uh, it's a unshielded 22 gauge four conductor black jacket color um, it's uh, they use this stuff for uh, security systems and uh, it seems to work pretty good for for haunting purposes but uh, so that's it for this video and um, have fun and we'll see you later thanks